jumping jelly beans. I got some really jolly junk today. I think I'll give this a special place of honor. And now, the news of the day here in Letter People Land. On a more tragic note, we've learned that the legendary Genius Jim is missing from Letter People Land's art museum. The people at the museum told us that they did not suspect any foul play. We do not suspect any foul play. It seems that the legendary Genius Jim was accidentally thrown in the trash by the janitor as a gesture of goodwill. In the janitor's words, I didn't know the thing was any good. I thought I was doing everyone a favor by throwing it in the junk pile. Mr. J, greetings. Good day to you. Oh, Mr. G, how's tricks, old buddy? Do you want to see any of this jolly junk I just got today? Well, sure, it looks interesting. interesting. I've never seen anything quite like that. What is it, Mr. J? Hmm. I don't know what it is. Golly, where did you get it? It's gorgeous. Where did I get it? I don't remember. Oh, yes, I do. It was in an old pile of junk behind the art museum. I think it's one of the jazziest things in my collection. Do you really like it? Indeed, I do. It's really something. Do you think it would be okay if I touch it, Mr. J? I'll be very careful with it. Sure, go ahead. I'm glad you like it. News bulletin, news bulletin just in. Letter People Land News has just learned that the missing legendary genius Jim may be dangerous. According to people at the museum, the genius Jim will make you disappear if your sound does not go with your name. Persons such as Mr. D have nothing to worry about, however. Mr. D's name, D, goes with his sound delicious donuts. But we repeat, be on the lookout for the missing genius Jim. If you touch it and your sound does not go with your name, you'll disappear and we're not fooling, so watch out. We return now to music to fill your clue boxes. Bye. Oh no, Mr. G is gone. Well, there's a brighter side to everything. At least gone starts with the same sound that starts Gooey gum. Hi, Mr. J. How are you doing? Creepers, creepers, Mr. J. You've got the genius, Jim. Careful now. Don't touch it. I don't want you to disappear. Don't worry, Officer Jabberwocky. I won't disappear. Huh? Why not, Mr. J? Because my name, J, goes with my sound. Jumbo Junk J. Jumbo Junk. My sound and my name go together. See? Nothing happened. Gee, you're right, Mr. J. Your sound, Jumbo Junk, and your name, J, go together. Golly gee, I'm sure glad that Mr. G wasn't here to touch it. Uh, his name, G, does not go with his sound, Gooey Gum. G, Gooey Gum. Yeah, but... G, Gooey Gum. Mr. G's name does not go with his sound. I know. So if Mr. G were here and touched it, then he would... He did! Jeepers, creepers, Mr. J, are you joking? He did touch it and he disappeared? That's right, officer. Huh, what are we gonna do? Gee, I don't know. And I'll try to get some help. News bulletin, news bulletin just in. You're not going to believe this, but a cure has been discovered for disappearance caused by touching the genius gem when your sound and your name do not go together. I don't believe it. Yeah, yeah, I told you. The people at the art museum now tell us that this simple formula will help persons who disappeared reappear. Here's all you have to do. First, lend the person who has disappeared the sound he needs that will go with his name. Then use that sound in a word. Find two words that begin with the letter's borrowed sound and finally play the catching game. If you do all that, the missing person will reappear. An easy cure for disappearance. And now, back to music for young squishers. It doesn't sound easy to me. Don't worry, Mr. J. Officer Jabberwocky and I will help. Well, the first part's easy enough, Mr. J. When the person who has disappeared, the sound he needs that will go with his name. Listen. G. 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 G goes with your sound. 
jumble junk. Listen, G, jumble junk. I figured out a way we can help, Mr. J. It'll be just like the time Mr. S agreed to let Mr. C use the super sock sound sometimes. Mr. S agreed because Mr. C's name, C, goes with Mr. S's sound, super socks. Since Mr. G's name, G, goes with your sound, jumbled junk, you could lend him your sound sometimes. But when can Mr. G borrow my sound? I've got it. Whenever G stands in front of silent E, he can use your jumbled junk sound. That sounds fine. I agree. Whenever G stands in front of silent E, he may use my jumbled junk sound. After all, his name G starts with the same sound that starts jumbled junk. See this piece of junk, officer? Hmm, it's a cage. C goes in the starting clue box, making his cotton candy sound. A in the catching clue box, G in the ending clue box, and silent E outside the ending clue box. That means A will make her long sound. What sound will G make? Hmm, I know. I know, Mr. J. G will make his borrowed sound. When G stands in front of silent E, he makes your jumble junk sound. Cage. Jumping jukeboxes. G can use my sound in a word. That's wonderful. We'll have him back soon now. What's the next step in the cure? Find two words that begin with the letter person's new sound. Hmm, that's not gonna be so easy. Jolly Jupiter, I know. What did they call it on the radio, this thing here? The genius gem. Thanks. It's all right. Gem is a word. G stands at the start and makes the same sound as in his name, G. He uses Mr. J's sound. And genius, a very smart person. Mr. G can use his borrowed sound at the beginning of genius, too. Uh-oh. What's wrong? How will we know when G is using his gooey gum sound at the start of words or borrowing your jumbled junk sound? I'll only let him borrow it in front of E and I. Just like the deal C and S made. C gets to use the super sock sound at the start of words when he's standing next to E or I. I'll let Mr. G borrow my sound in front of E and I, but only sometimes. People will just have to try it both ways and choose the sound that makes sense. I don't want to talk myself out of a job. That's enough. Jeepers, Mr. J. I think we're ready for the final part of the cure, the catching game. Okay, Jasper. There you see the letter people already in place in their clue boxes. Hmm, there's a missing person in the ending clue box. Let's forget the whole thing. Wait, I've got a good idea. Mr. G, would you please reappear? Fantastic. It's great to be back. It's wonderful to have you back, Mr. G. Would you please get into the ending clue box? And Good. what sound will Mr. G make? Whenever G stands in front of silent E, he makes his borrowed sound. Letter people, make your sounds catch. Page. A piece of paper from a book. Golly G, I have a sound that goes with my name. G, thanks, Mr. J. Oh, shucks. Golly G, Mr. G. Why don't you try touching that genius gem now? Golly, I don't know if I should. Oh, oh go, go ahead. ahead. Try it. Always before silent E, and sometimes before E and I. I didn't disappear. It's a good thing he didn't. I don't know if I can think of any more words. <laughs>